Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject data structures was graph representation. So in the previous video, I explained about what what is the definition of the graph and what are the terminologies that we used in the graph. Now let us see the graph representation. If you want to represent the graph, you can follow these three uh, types that is the adjacency matrix, incidence matrix and adjacency list. So let me explain uh, what is this types of graph representations. Let me take the adjacency matrix. A graph G that is having a set of vertices and edges where V is from 0 to n minus 1 means there are up to n minus 1 vertices are there and can be represented using two dimensional array of size n by n. So we have taken the two dimensional array of int size n by n Let's take, uh, suppose if int adjacent of 20 of 20, size array n by n, that is here I am taking as n as 20, 20 by 20, can be used to store a graph with 20 vertices. Okay. So, if suppose the adjacent i, j is equal to 1, means it indicating the presence of edge between two vertices i and j. So, whenever there is a connection between the two edges, let me take this. Okay, this is a graph. Uh, if there is a connection between the two vertices, then it indicates 1. The adjacence of ij is 1. Suppose if the adjacence of ij is equal to 0, it indicates the absence of edge between two vertices. Let me take the adjacent of ab. Is there is any really adjacent for a to b? No, there is no direct edge from a to b. So, here the adjacent of ij is 0. So, this is how you are going to calculate the adjacency matrix. Whenever the adjacent of ij is equal to 1, it indicates the presence of edge. So, there is, there is a presence of edge between A and B. Then you can say the matrix is 1 here. If there is no edge between those two vertices, then you can say uh, adjacent of ij is 0. So, let me explain with example. This is the adjacent graph. So, actually a graph is represented using a square matrix. We, we know that the adjacency matrix means we are here, we are representing a square matrix. Adjacency matrix of, a, of an undirected graph is always a symmetric. These two points you have to be remember that. Adjacency matrix of, if you take the undirected graph, means there is no direction. Undirected graphs is always symmetric matrix. You call those types of graphs as a symmetric matrix. Means there is an edge, uh, whatever the edge ij is implies the edge ji. Means whatever ab is there, ab equal to ba and ba, uh, ab equal and b to a equal. Edge ab is equal to edge ba. Whenever it is in the case of undirected, that then you call it as a symmetric matrix. If the adjacent matrix of a directed graph is never symmetric, means uh, if the direction is there, then you can say these are the not symmetric, always not symmetric. Because adjacent of ij is equal to 1 indicates a direct edge from i to j. i to j there should be an edge, but j to i there is no edge because this is a directed graph. So, we can say that there is never symmetric in, in the case of directed graph. In the case of directed graph, uh, the graph is always, uh, it is never symmetric. Whereas in unidirected, means undirected graph, no directions means it's always symmetric. Let me explain with example. Here I am going to take, uh, explain the adjacency matrix for undirected, directed and weighted graphs. So here is an example. Here uh, the set of vertices are A, B, C, D, E. Total 5 vertices are there and the edges are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 vertices, uh, edges are there. So I represented in the square matrix. So here the vertices are, I said it should be adjacency matrix will be expressed in the terms of n by n matrix. So here these are the vertex. Rows and columns are arranged in the vertex. So now let's see the connections. The adjacency I want to be calculated. From A to A, there is there is an, any edge? No. If there is no adjacent edge, just keep 0. Now check. A to B, is there any edge? Yes. From A to B, 1 edge was there. 1. 
a to c 1 a to d 1 a to e there is no direct edge so it should be 0 now coming to the b matrix b vertex b to a yes there is an edge so this is undirected so a to b and b to a you can take both ways both are equal so i am taking b to a is 1 b to b there is no self loop so 0 b to c there is no directed edge so 0 b to d 1 b to e 1 in the same way c to a c to b there is no connection so it is 0 c to c there is no loop so 0 c to d 1 and c to e there is no edge so 0 now coming to d d to a 1 d to b 1 d to c 1 d to d is also there is a loop self loop so this is also 1 and d to e is 1 so for d all the connections are there adjacent matrix will be there for e e to a 0 e to b 1 e to c there is no edge and e to d is 1 e to e there is no self loop 0 so this is a matrix for the undirected graph now let me show you the directed graph representation the directed graph means here you are giving the direction so you can go a to b only b to a is not possible only a to b is possible so that the point you have to be remember for directed graph a to b is possible b to a is not possible so these are the vertices and now let's calculate the adjacency matrix a to a zero a to b there is a connection direction one a to c there is a connection it's a a to c a path is there one a to d there is no path the edge was there but the, it is a directed graph so a to d is not there d to a is there the direction is from d to a not from a to d so it is zero d to e is zero now b b to a there is no direction it's it's in degree so inside so a to b b to a is zero b to b is zero b to c is zero and b to d is one direction one and b to e is one so c from c to a no direction c to b no c to d is c to c is no and c to d is one and c2 is no so in this way you have to be calculated for the directed graph now let me explain the weighted graph representation weighted graph means just you're keeping the weights on the edges and this is undirected graph it is undirected graph a to a there is no weight zero a to b the weight is two a to c the weight is four a to d the weight is three a to e there is no edge so zero b to a two because this is undirected so a to b and b to a both are the possible so b to a two b to b there is no loop b to c there is no connection b to d six b to e eleven now c c to a four c to b there is no connection c to c there is no connection so both are the zeros c to d fifteen c to e there is no connection Next coming to D. So D all the lines are connected. D to A3, D to B6, D to C15, D to D. This self loop 1 and D to E3. Next E to A. There is no connection. E to B11. And then E to C50. Uh, e to C there is no connection. So 0. E to D3 was there. E to E there is no loop. So 0. So this is how you are going to calculate the adjacency matrix for the given graph. Whatever the given gra uh, graph that is given, whether it is a directed graph, undirected graph or weighted graph. Whatever the graph they are given, just first write the vertices in the row, arrange in row and the columns. Now calculate the adjacency matrix for that vertex. So this is the first graph representation that is the adjacency matrix. Thank you.